This is Lou Gifford, and Lou is an animator. And that's a word which you should be familiar with it, familiar with, because you watch a lot of animation on right on one drama when you watch cartoons. Lou right now is in the process of drawing a very famous lady. And uh, she's uh, known to all of us who watch television, I think. Generally, she's not standing on her stool yet. You gonna put her on her stool there, Lou? I have to make it a short stool. All right, we're running out of paper here. Lou um, has a, uh, an outfit called Gifford Animation. And that's because his name is Lou Gifford, not because his name is Gifford Animation, see? Now, there we are, let's turn it around. And I think you'll recognize her immediately as Emily Tipp, the lady who always likes to talk about her bread. And uh, is this a creation of yours? Well, I helped create it with Ed Graham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've seen, of course, you've created a lot of other things like uh, Bert and Harry. Well, I, I helped create <laughs> some, of the, some of the films that Bert and right. Harry were in. And, uh, of course, that's Bert and Harry Peel. We won't say what they produce, but that's their last name, see? Now, what is animation? What, what makes a, you know, how do you, how do you get animation? Well, animation is film, really. But uh, when you come right down to it, it's just a bunch of drawings put together in time. Uh, the principle of animation, as I understand, is that when you see a picture, if you were to suddenly shut your eyes now, just look at something and then, well, look at me, and then shut your eyes. A lot of people do that. And uh, to shut them quickly, actually, you, you retain a picture of me in your mind for about how long? Sixth of a second. A sixth of a second. No, it couldn't be. Sixteenth yeah, of a second, I think. Sixteenth of a second. So that if you could open and close your eyes 16 times a second, which would be hard for you to do, it would seem as though you were watching me all the time, and yet you'd be closing and opening them. You just do it very fast, and, and it'll look like, you know, there's a continuous picture on Actually, it's a series. You're taking a series of photographs on your brain, and that's uh, the secret of moving pictures, too, as a matter that's of fact. Right. Now, when you do animation, uh, of course, you draw a lot of pictures, and let's take a particular film of yours. Which one should we take? Well, I did one for Harry and Bert just a little while ago that I think we might uh, use. Okay, was that the fresh air one? That's fresh right. air fund? Right. Okay, here is a an animation, 20 second animation film, which uh, Lou Gifford just finished for fresh air fund. And this is the way it looks. Now remember, this is a series of unrelated pictures. Hey, watch out, you young. Brent, the poor kids don't have any place to play except in the streets. Oh, I wish I could help, but... Uh... Well, you can, and so can everyone, by sending a donation to the Herald Tribune Fresh Air Fund. To Fresh Air, New York, 36, New York. What are you waiting for, viewers? Lend me a checkbook, Hare. Ah. That's, that's uh, Bert for you all the time, isn't it? Poor Harry, that would be set. Now, where did that film begin? Well, like most films, it begins in someone's mind up here, but uh, the first thing you can point to that we could show anyone would be uh, a storyboard. Here's a storyboard of the film we just saw. Uh, this first picture shows Harry and Bert with a little boy running by. Then the rest of the action takes place in the rest of these boxes. Well, let's take, wait, let's wait a second while we take a, a, a look there and see it in some detail here. Whoops, that's as far as that one's gonna come. Uh, we'll take a, a couple of shots of this. I wanna see these things frame by frame if we can so the boys and girls can recognize them. Now there, remember when the film started, the, the kid was running boy. right? Yes, and there's, now what's right underneath there? This is the, script for that particular segment of the movie. It says, Bert and Harry walking down sidewalk, young kid runs by chasing stick ball and nudges Bert. Right, and Bert says, hey, watch out, you. And it's been changed here to young something or other. Yes. Then Harry says in the next panel, Bert, the poor kids don't have any place to play except in the streets. And, and so, you can see yes. them playing in the streets. So that there. each uh, general picture you put up there with the script that goes with it. Right. And then what do you do? You sit around and talk about it and say, is this what we want to do? Or right. Do something else? We decide exactly how they want to move, how we want them to move to just best illustrate what we're talking about. Yeah. And then, all right, well, now you decide that's the, the, the picture you want to make. Now, what, what's the next step? The next step is to break down these individual drawings into what we call layouts. And a layout here... Just leave them on there one at a time. ...would be setting Harry and Bert together on one piece of paper. And on another piece of paper, we'd use the little boy. Right. After we do all the drawings that we have to do, we, of course, have to get it so that you can see both Harry and Bert and the little boy. So we transfer them to what are cells. Now, These those cells are, are transparent. transparent. Yes. You can see right through them. We save time by using a background like this. 
using one transparent cell like this and one transparent cell like this. Now, it, on the film, it looks like they're all together. That's but right. actually, you can then move the boy right in front of Bert and Harry without having to draw new I'll pictures show of them. We can move him. We would move him here, take a picture. 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 And when the camera is through with the film, it's telescoped the whole action. So what we get is kind of just like this. The hey, where are you going, you young something or other? That's right. And that's, that's that. But that takes a long time because a lot of... How many pictures might be involved in that? Oh, in the boy running from here to here, there might be uh, 40 different pictures. Hmm. Uh, because it's a repeated action of his feet, just like this, uh, we can do it with about three or four drawings, but still the camera has to photograph it 20 or 30 times. Right. Now, you have other, other drawings, of course. Right. Uh, there's some more drawings of uh, Harry. Here's an quotes. action of Harry. You can see him. Just one action, just dropping his hand. That's huh? right. And you had to draw four, four or five frames. Of that. Anyway. Yes. There may be some left out here. But you can see how they happen one after the other. So there, well now, for instance, in that 22nd film, how many pictures did you have to draw? How many gels and frames? Supposedly there were about seven or eight hundred, and I'd say that's how many there were. In 20 seconds? And no. Let there be a third of that. It'd probably be about 250, 300. But even that is a lot. 250 pictures for a 20-second film. Now, what, what happens when, you, when they do a Disney film? They just go on for years and years. Years and years. Yes. And hundreds, thousands. All right, well, there's the way it was done, and now that we've seen some of the idea of how it was done and the frames over there, the gels, let's take one more look at that picture again as it came out in the finished product and as you'll be seeing it on television. Hey, watch out, you young. Brent, the poor kids don't have any place to play except in the streets. Oh, I wish I could help, but... Uh... Well, you can, and so can everyone, by sending a donation to the Herald Tribune Fresh Air Fund to Fresh Air, New York 36, New York. What are you waiting for, viewers? Lend me a checkbook, hair. 20 seconds and about 300 pictures went into that 20-second film. So when you see a seven-minute cartoon, you get an idea of uh, all the work that's gone into making cartoons. What are some of the other things you've done that we might have seen? Well, you mentioned a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, too. That's why I'm in the business. Uh, some of the other things we've done, uh, pictures for have been SO Gasoline, Scott Paper, uh, some insurance things that we've done, which are just on the air now. Uh, there have been, perhaps in all, over the last year, we've probably done about 80 or 90 different commercials, which times 300 drawings is about a zillion. A lot of drawings in there, a lot of drawings. Well, sir, John Nagy's going to start coming on our station right after just for fun to teach the boys and girls how to draw. Maybe we'll get some more animators out of that. Here is something. Uh, I believe this is a cartoon, too. It's, uh, you must be familiar with the Les Toil cartoon, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, very here, good. Here's another cartoon. Get an idea of how many drawings went into this one. I'm Les Toil, a penetrating and emulsifying agent. There are things in your home you cannot see, like hidden dirt lurking in cracks and crevices. I, Les Toil, the all-purpose liquid detergent because of my penetrating action, seek dirt out. Because of my ability to make water wetter, I penetrate into fabric fibers. I seek out deeply embedded soil, loosen and dissolve it so it can be washed away. Boo! Less Toil used daily prevents grease buildup in your drains. I penetrate. Emulsify, break up, and wash the grease away. It's so easy when you use less toil. Very That's good. a pretty good example of animation, it sure isn't is. it? Very nice. Very clever, very imaginative. And again, boys and girls, when you see a thing like that from now on, just think of all the work that goes into just... And now, that was almost a minute, so that must have had many, many hundreds of, of pictures involved there. Lou Gifford, we want to thank you so much for taking time off from your Gifford Animation Studios to come down and give us an idea of how you do Emily Tip Top and, uh, and uh, Bert and Harry, and we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Happy and for you, here. here's a long cartoon. Oh. See, with lots of pictures called A Fox and Hounds. Woo! <laughs>
the hard drive to the chop. And poor Bomber's block is knocked off. The one reason I started TVDays.com was to have a place to post my videos and the films that I've been restoring. My stomach's jumping, and I'll feel worse tomorrow. I feel robot commando. I'm a very lucky girl. I've got a touchy robot. This is some of the rarest one-of-a-kind material in the country. Unless my collection is saved, preserved, and put somewhere else, no one is going to see this again. You love touchy robots. Real one. No idea. This is terrible. The one we want is caught in the middle. Hey, cuz, you all rat tail sharp. How about giving us a few of them pennies? One amazing find was caught in the middle, uh, a color kinescope that was made by CBS in 1970. And as I'm watching it, there's Morgan Friedman. I got things breaking for me. Pretty soon I'll be able to throw some pennies your way. Nice pennies. Once it aired, it was never seen again, and nobody has a copy anymore, and I was able somehow to get one. But just transferring it and fixing the audio is one thing. I have to put touches up to a lot of the video, so when I'm playing it here, you can see how dark it is in spots. I have to then lighten it up, and now it's starting to look like something. And the man's just waiting to blow you away. And if he ever gets the chance, bye bye, black boy. There's so much history there that needs to be documented correctly. And hopefully, if I can bring it to the public, that will happen. Uh, is this box number 20 or number 20? Is this, this is ridiculous. I see it. This all has to be taken out. Uh, more 16 millimeter. This is 45 years of collecting. And now I have to figure out how to finance saving it all. That's the big question. There's a lot of rare, one-of-a-kind items that need to be saved. Must be small. So the key is to transfer it all now digitally, then store it all away. And my goal one day is to walk into a building and there is everything I have in little plastic containers on a wall. Organized. George, George, stop the machine. Stop the machine. This film's so old it just breaks up in your fingers. Can't you patch it together again? Not a chance. Cellular's only good for 20 years or so, and then it gets so brittle you can't hardly touch it. What do you mean? What do you mean that we can't even see it? Now that we have it? There's just nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Never had the world known a more wonderful way of recording knowledge. But now it was realized that it wasn't permanent that half a century of history was about to decay out of existence.